the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. Let's get super postmodern. I mean, this building is simply incredible. Before I go any farther and explore this amazing museum, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time out here on this lovely garden. It's simple, elegant, incredibly charming. There's a certain indescribable charm to being in the South. I know I'm only in Richmond, but I feel it heavy, heavy like this humidity. The layout of these rooms is simply stunning. If you recall in the video, about the East Building of the National Gallery of Art. The highlight was the Jackson Pollock. This is his mentor, Thomas Benton. Pollock model for many of his paintings. You can see him in the left corner of this one. A simple picture of a building, right? Not really. There is some vibrant element that is transcendental. It's from out of this world, man. more of that 20s to 30s era art that I just love. I think it's the colors, the angles, how it inspired noir in the 40s and 50s. That's what I think it gets me at. How many museums have a lounge like this? I dare you to tell me you're not in love with this place already. Honestly, look at this display room. Have you ever seen something so elegant in your life? Okay, it's ultra fanboy time. This is why I'm here. They have an extensive collection of Roman art. Just check out this Roman sarcophagi. Look at all these Roman artifacts! They have a bust of Roman Emperor Vespasian when he was very young. This was the emperor that began construction on the Colosseum. They have a Roman mosaic from Antioch. I've never been in love. I suppose the way I feel now is what being in love must be like. This statue of Septimius Severus is why I'm here. He was a Roman emperor, pacified Britain, 200 AD. Well, pacified as much as you could, those crazy Celts. I love this place so much. I haven't thought about the Spine Museum once. I'm not prepared for this. They have a whole section dedicated to Byzantine era art. an entire room of Byzantine era artifacts. A processional cross from the 10th century. I'm taking a break. There's just too much coolness here. This party is for Justin. Next to the museum is this incredible Catholic church.
Pax means peace for all you non-Latin speaking troglodytes. Oh, what a lovely and serene small little courtyard. Outside the museum, they have a sculpture garden, as well as it becomes a hangout place for folks after work. The Russian and I always had a saying, because we knew more about the hard times in life than the good. We would talk about the good life as, this is living. Well, this is living. I had to go outside, take a break. The heaviness of this place was, caused me to have an existential crisis. And by heavy, I mean heavy as in the scale and grandeur of this painting. This one will definitely shake your hold on reality. This is as good a spot as any for a confession. I'm not Chris So, I don't want to die alone. Even though I live like a mercenary rogue and I'm well on my way to dying alone. What I really want is to bring a woman here, take her to other museums and experience this crazy art world. I'm on the top floor, the third level. The theme of this level is Art Deco and Art Nouveau, whatever that means. I feel like I've walked into a 1950s era upper middle class dream made by Dwight Eisenhower. If I covered every section about this place that I love, this video would be 47 hours long. Once again, I don't know how to end this film, so I won't. I'll say to be continued. And next time I come here, I'm bringing a woman. And on that note, continue mission.